Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain you this program Subarray with given sum. So in the input, we will get an unsorted array of size n, and it will only contain non-negative integers. Now from that array, we have to find a continuous subarray whose sum is equal to a given number s. So in the example one, you can see that in the input we are getting n equal to five and s equal to twelve. So we are getting an array of size five, and in the sum variable we are getting twelve. Now from this array we have to find a subarray whose sum is equal to twelve. Now you can see that two plus three plus seven is equal to twelve. So this is our subarray, and we have to return the position of this subarray. So it will start from here second, and it will end here fourth position. Position of this subarray is two and four. And you can see that we also have a second subarray seven and five, but we only have to return the position of first subarray. And if there is not a subarray whose sum is equal to s, then we will return minus one. So in the method, you can see that we have to return the position of subarray in a array list. So first, I will make a array list here. So array list of integer num. Equal to new array list of integer, and after that I will take here some variables int sum to equal to zero and start equal to zero and end equal to zero. So we have taken a sum to variable in which we will add the array elements one by one and compare that if the value of sum to variable is equal to s or not. And I have taken these two variables here, start and index. So we will use these variables to send the starting and ending position of the subarray. After that, I will take a for loop for int i equal to zero and i less than n and i plus plus. Now in this for loop, we will add the array elements one by one in the sum to variable. So sum to plus equal to array of i, and I will Assign the value of and equal to i, so and equal to i, and we will take a if statement here if s equal equal to sum two, so we will break our for loop, and suppose that if the value of the sum two variable is larger than than the s variable, so what we will do? You can see that if we add the array elements from the starting index, so one plus two is three, three plus three is six. And six plus seven is thirteen, so you can see that we will get thirteen. But we have to remove this first element to get the sum equal to twelve. So in this for loop, I will take a while loop, which will remove the starting elements if sum two variable is larger than the s. So while sum two is larger than s, so sum two minus equal to array of start. And start plus plus. Now, first I will explain you how this for loop will work. So this for loop will start from zero. So right now index is zero, and in the sum to variable we will add the element at index zero. So at index zero we have one. So in the sum to variable we will add one. So here we get one. After that we will assign the value of index to the And variable. So in the and variable, we get zero. So it will remain as it is. After that, this value will not execute because sum two is not larger than s, and sum is also not equal to sum two. So this both will not execute. After that, i plus plus i will become one, and now we will add the array element at index one. So at index one, we have two. So in the sum two variable, we will get three. And after that, and equal to i. So now in this and variable we will get one. After that, this two will not execute, and i plus plus. So now i will become two. So now we will add the array element from index two. So at index two element is three. So now in the sum two variable we will get six. 
after that and equal to i so now in the and variable we will get index which is 2 after that i plus plus i will become 3 so now you can see that at this index we have 7 so now we will add 7 in the sum to variable so in the sum to variable we will get 13 after that and equal to i so in the end variable we will get 3 now here it will check this while loop while sum2 is larger than s so you can see that yes sum2 is 13 and s variable is 12 so this while loop will execute and it will subtract the first array element from the sum2 variable so this start variable is 0 it will take a of 0 so at a of 0 we have 1 so we will subtract 1 from the sum2 variable so in the sum2 variable we will get 12 and in the start variable so start plus plus so start will become 1 and after that this loop will again check sum2 is larger than s so now you can see that no sum2 is not larger than s so this while loop will break after that in this if statement it will check here sum equal equal to sum2 yes sum2 is 12 and s variable is also 12 so this for loop will break so now you can see that in the start variable we have 1 and in the end variable we have got 3 so they are the starting and ending indexes of our subarray 2 3 and 7 so you can see that in the start variable we have 1 and in the end variable we have 3 after that we have to add these variables start and end in the array list and we have to return the array list first i will take if statement if s not equal to sum2 suppose we do not find any subarray in the q1 array so in that case we have to return minus 1 so i will add minus 1 to this array list so num dot add minus 1 and we will return this array list and in the else part it means that we have get our subarray so we will add the starting and ending indexes but you can see that we have to return the positions and note the index so i will write here num dot add start plus one so we will return the starting position and num dot add end plus one so now you can see that in the start we will get two and in the end we will get four and after that we will return our array list so return num so you can see that in the for loop we also have to take a while loop so it will subtract the array elements from the starting if sum2 variable is larger than the s variable and we are taking if statement if we have found our subarray so in that case we do not have to check any more subarrays in the array so we will simply break our for loop and here we will check if s not equal to sum2 it means that there is no subarray present in the array whose sum is equal to s so in that case first we will add minus 1 to the array list and then we will return the array list and in the s part we will return the starting and ending position of the subarray so now let's run the program So you can see that our program is working fine and let's submit the program so you can see that our program has submitted successfully thanks for watching